just want to discuss ice uh, in the Philippines. This was brought up on the thread relating to water systems by Katabatic. Um, where his comment says, nice informative video, you forgot to cover the ice which they serve you with uh, the drinks when you're in public places. Anyway, thanks for sharing your thoughts on this subject. So this video will actually go over uh, the issues with ice in the Philippines. So let's talk about bacteria. We'll start off with somewhere in the UK. Um, basically there was a survey done by the, I think it was the Daily Mail on Sunday, it was basically saying six out of ten restaurants had more bacteria in their rice than they did in toilet water, um, which I would believe um, purely because I know how dirty these places are in the back because I dealt with things from the service industry relating to looking after buildings. Um, but the main reason they reckon this is bec is because it's not washed as regular, the ice machines, etc. So. First thing is you've got bacteria there. Bacteria has all sorts of issues with it. You can research it. But I want to talk to you about basic public places in the Philippines. But even the big restaurants, be very wary. Um, unless you can get over it. <laughs> get used to the bacteria. Uh, you're, if you're there for a short stay, you could end up with a touch of the, the deli belly with the old runs or you could end up with a fever for most of your holiday. Now, there's two reasons this happens. The first one is obviously the cleaning of the ice machines because they're notorious for bacteria. But the next one is the fact that tap water is often used. Um, even in our little Sari Sari store, we freeze ice for people that uh, they'll actually drink the ice. Now, the locals are pretty immune to it. Um, so they, they don't really suffer with the problems we do because they're, they're already, you know, immune. But we haven't adapted to it, which is why we can get sick. Um, now, restaurants do exactly the same. They, they fill up these bags because it's often not the little nice cubes that we are used to um, in trays. What they do is they'll get a plastic bag, fill it with water, tighten a knot, and then they'll stack them in the freezer so you'll get like 40 um, plastic bags of ice in there and it's all come from the tap water and this is why you can get a upset stomach which is why it's worth avoiding your um, ice at least if you're just there for a short period of time if you're there long term um, it might be worth getting ill a couple of times to become immune to it <laughs> because once I, I myself I have no issue with the ice anymore that's that's one of the reasons I was missed off on the last one because it's something initially I had a problem with because I used to get fevers off the ice but after being there for so long it doesn't really affect me at all anymore um, I've built up my metabolism and uh, immune system to it but if you're a new arrival you're going to find that there's a good chance if you get sick, feel ill, or whatever after a meal, it's very likely to be from the ice in your drinks. Or the other one that's quite common is if rice is kept hot, because uh, bacteria builds up on the rice. It's, that's why, you know, a lot of Indian restaurants and stuff in the UK, it's one of the problems you get with there, because the, the rice um, keeps the bacteria growing really well when it's just left on a hot plate. If it's fresh, it's no issue. But anyway, thanks for listening.